Hey guys, Prangle Gaming here, and today I'm going to be giving you a more analysis video. Now, today's analysis is the game against Warsaw. Now, Byron Webster didn't feature in this game. I don't know whether he was injured, but it definitely looked like we missed him in the defence because he was so good, and he was such a defensive rock in the games before this game. Now, nevertheless, that meant that Nelson had to be played in his position. But let's not go into that. The first chance of the game came where Fred had a great shot. He lashed it across the goal and it could have gone in. Fortunately, it didn't, but it did end up going to Steve Morrison. And all he had to do was tap it in and it should have gone in, right? Well, he did tap it, but for some reason, it didn't go in the back of the net. It missed from about five centimeters. I was so upset that I didn't go in. That could have definitely changed the game because, of course, Warsaw did win it in the end. Now, our next chance is from Aiden O'Brien. He had the ball. And he could have put us in front again. We could have been going in front early on. However, his shot was straight at Everidge. And I think that if there had been more power on that, that definitely would have challenged Everidge even more. And that could have even blasted its way into the back of the net. But who knows, it didn't happen. Now, the first goal and the only goal of the game happened from this. O'Connor chipped the ball over the top. And this was horrific to watch. I just don't know what happened to our defenders here. But Nelson completely missed the header. And I was a bit concerned about Nelson coming into the defence. Because sometimes he can be a bit unreliable. And it proved here that he was going to be. He missed the header. And then the trouble started because he had to go in a running race with Laukovic. And Laukovic looked he, like he was very, very pacey. And he proved to be very pacey. Beavers had to come across to try and get the ball. And just as Beavers came across... Just to try and get the ball, Lakovic ran straight round him and then smashed the ball home as Ford had already stepped off his line to try and get the ball. And well, that didn't work as Lakovic had an easier chance as Ford was not even close to his goal. Now, before we get into the second half, let me just say Warsaw completely dominated the first half. They were the better team by far. They had more shots, created lots of chances. And they challenged Ford a few times, but not many. That's why I haven't really mentioned any of them in the first half. However, they did challenge the defence a lot. The defence were feeling the full force of the Warsaw attacking front. Now, this is in the second half. Millwall did come close to equalising as Edwards threw the ball down. Morrison headed it back. Edwards then chipped it into the box. Fred then missed out on the header. I wouldn't have expected him to win the header because they were so physical. But the ball did come back to Steve Morrison, who blasted the ball across. And Aiden O'Brien, he got something on the ball. I don't know what he got on the ball. It may have been his body. I don't know what happened. But for some reason, the ball didn't go in the back of the net. And it could have if he had got a solid bit of contact on it. For some reason, it didn't. And it just wasn't going our way. Any other day, and that probably would have gone in the back of the net. And Aiden O'Brien would have been celebrating another goal. But the fact it didn't. That frustrates me because we had so many chances and that was clearly one of them that we could have taken at least a point out of this game. Now the final chance for Millwall was where Ford kicked the ball up the pitch and it eventually found its way to Ferguson. Now Ferguson crossed the ball into the area and Aiden O'Brien unluckily headed the ball onto the crossbar. I cannot believe this. Aiden O'Brien must not be able to believe this. He had so many chances. He was so unlucky. He deserved to score in this game. For some reason, he just didn't score. Now, before I end this analysis video, I've got a few things to talk about. Now, one of them is the fact that Jimmy Abdu looked like he was playing as a centre forward in this game. Yes, the same player that has to play as a defensive midfielder or even a centre midfielder. But he was actually attacking pretty well. But when the fans are shouting, shoot, 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 I don't think Jimmy Abdu is going to shoot. He doesn't score goals very often. Although, when he does score them, they are pretty good. It was just quite weird to see that he was attacking so much. I thought that he could have been playing in a deeper role. Maybe that's what cost us a goal in the end. I don't know. But Jimmy Abdu, for some reason, was playing like a striker in that game for many parts of the game. Now, we could have come back in the game, as I said. It just didn't go away, and it wasn't meant to be. If it was meant to be, we would have scored at least one of those chances and got at least a point. As I said, we could have won that game. We had a lot of solid chances where we definitely could have converted to get a winner or even an equaliser but that didn't happen and again it's frustration at home and finally I've got to complain about the referee decisions again yes I know I'm complaining about them again but they are poor they're terrible the ref almost started a fight between the, 
the players, because you know the Millwall players are passionate. They play with their heart on their sleeve, well, most of them do. And for some reason, some of them chances Warsaw didn't agree with and we didn't agree with. And it almost ended up than having a fisticuffs, which we have done a few times. So I was surprised that it didn't end up in that. But he didn't have control of that game whatsoever. Lots of chances could have been terribly wrong. I mean, there were some fouls that definitely weren't fouls that Warsaw committed. And there were some that we did that were definitely not fouls. But the referee didn't seem to care. He gave wrong decisions all over again. There must need to be some sort of referee and judging system so they can actually learn from their mistakes because they're being made over and over again. There are very few referees that I can list that are actually pretty good in football at the moment. That being said, the linesman decisions on both sides were terrible as they didn't know and they were struggling to grasp with the concept of what offside actually was. Now, enough about me moaning. I just want to say the key players for both teams. Now, for Millwall, it was Mark Beavers. He did so well in defence. I've got to say, it's definite improvement on the last home game he had. And also, Edwards played fantastic in this game. Them two, Beavers and Edwards, were the only two defenders, really, that I could say that were very good in that game. And Beavers definitely stepped up to the plate and showed why he's playing in that team consistently. And that's why he was the key player for Millwall. Now, for Warsaw, I've got to say it was Laukovic. His pace and trickery was fantastic. He helped Warsaw get the goal and he also created lots of opportunities for Warsaw to score and he definitely threatened the defence almost every time he went forward. Now the next game that Mill will have is against Southend. It has already been played. That was of course yesterday. It was a very good game. We won by a very good margin but I'm not going to talk about that as that's in the next analysis video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and of course stay tuned for more analysis videos like comment subscribe and of course i'll see you guys in the next video goodbye